Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining the trip. So my name is Rinkert. Uh, I'll be giving uh, I'll be giving information regarding the configuration split module that is uh, provided by Drupal. So what is configuration split? So configuration split module it is basically used to split the conf uh, configs into separate uh, config directories. As you know, right now when you do land order CEX, all our configs that are present in the Drupal website they get exported to a config directory. So what we are doing is we're splitting some of the configs into a separate directory. And this method will allow us to import the configs based on environment. Like say if uh, there are cases, there are uh, more specific modules that should be only enabled in uh, develop instances, but not in prod and vice versa. The, for example, uh, Google Tag Manager. So this module, I believe, uh, is only should be only enabled in live uh, live instances, and uh, it should not be enabled in any other instance because it will send tracking information uh, and it might give uh, wrong information to clients. So to make sure, and as you all know, we cannot uninstall it and raise PR for separate separate branches because core dot extension it's a single config, right? So this module, what it will do? It will create a separate core dot extension. It will create a. Uh, it will split the core dot extension and it will push it to a separate config directory. So it will enable us to like based on the environment, we can override the config split settings, and we can ask the configuration split model to import certain configs into it. If the environment is live, this model should get inserted the core dot extension that is present in the live config directory. So uh, to install the module, it is available in uh, Drupal configuration script module. You, know, you install it using Composer. You can directly uh, download the folder and place it in your uh, contract folder section. And uh, I'll start with the demo. So install the module. Right now, I have installed the module direct. Uh, install the module to so, so save time. So what you have to do is you have to create a new split. So for now, first I'll create a split for prod. So I'll name it as prod. And here you, you have to specify uh, uh, which folder, the folder name in, uh, under which the split configs should go in. So here I'll uh, mention that it should go under config slash prod. So this config, it is basically the current uh, config directory that is present in my code base. So normally uh, we keep it, uh, the config structure, we should keep it as the config folder. Inside that, there should be a default folder. And inside that, there should be a prod folder or any other steps. So that's why I'm keeping it uh, inside prod, inside the config folder. So by default, I'll keep it as inactive. I'll be overriding this using uh, a certain command from settings.php. I'll uh, show that uh, after this step. So here, what I'm going to do, as I said, Google, uh, I'll use Google Tag Manager as example here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to select Google tag. This should be enabled only in prod environment. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the Google tag manager. And then what I'm going to do, the core.extension that is present. So basically, if a model should be installed or uninstalled, core.extension is the config that deals with it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to split the core.extension file. So I'm going to search for it. Yeah, it's here dot extension and I'm going to save it. So right now uh, I have created a split. So how to export the split? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open my terminal. Normally we export the config set. We use Landor in my address CEX. So here you can see a config split prod. We are, I'm creating a new split and exporting it. Now, in order to, we have to activate it for our uh, split to get a uh, split to start working. So there is a command called this one. Here, the config split export command is a bit different. Here we use trash config split colon export and the split name. Split name is the machine name of the uh, split that we have created. Uh, so here I'm going to run that command. Uh, first, before that, we have to activate it. 
uh, in order to activate it, we will use the, uh, this one. So we have to paste this inside settings.php for it. To, uh, so basically, we are overriding the split and we are making the status true. So I'm, I will paste it right now. I have already created one. So I'll just uncomment it. So right now, I have enabled the split. Here you can see if I have to refresh the page. You can see it says active settings.php. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to export it normally. Now you can see code.extension is getting updated and google tag.settings is getting deleted. So it's not basically what it is doing is it is deleting in the main config folder. So I'm going to export it. Now I'm going to run this config split command that is nando-rush config split export and my uh, split machine name is prod. So I'll run prod. So this will export the configs into a separate directory. So this is my config folder. Here you can see there is a default folder in which all the base configs are present. What, what config split did is it created a new folder called prod. Inside this, you can see there is a separate core.extension in which Google tag is mentioned. And its respective Google dot settings is also is pushed into this uh, prod uh, config folder itself. Now I'll add another config script, which is dev. I'll name it as dev. Same uh, for folder, I'll write it as config slash dev. Keep it as inactive. Here, what I'm gonna do, uh, models such as use UI, update manager, and uh, database logging, these models are not uh, normally enabled in live instances. What I'm going to do, I'm going to select those database logging and uh, UI and uh, update manage. I'll select this and I'll select the code dot extension. So it will create a separate split for that. That extension. Right now it is inactive. What I'm gonna do in settings.php, I'll enable the dev split and I'll keep this one as uh, false for now. So now it is active, the dev split. So again, the same process. First, I'm gonna do land.cx. You can see the split getting exported, the new split, and it will also. Since I have disabled it, it got exported there. Uh, it just also... Now I'm gonna export the split, which is basically an Android rush config split export dev. Now we can see a new folder has been created in which all those files regarding the models that I selected, DB log, update, UCI. Uh, I may have selected Google uh, since I disabled it in between, even Google tag got uh, exported as a mistake. Uh, so, for example, uh, for now, I'll just remove this here directly. Now, next point is that's how you create a split. Uh, next would be how to handle this in different environments. So as you can see right now, I'm using this to enable a split. So what we can do is we can use this set of commands right here. So I'll copy this and uh, if you were to paste it in settings.php, you can specify which environment, under which environment, what kind of split should be true. As I have set uh, default status as false, it will be false. And from settings.php, it will get overridden. So if the in develop instance, Dev split will be enabled in live instance. 
uh, prod spirit will be enabled. So if I were to disable any one of those, say if I were to disable dev and if I were to do land order CIM, it will delay DB log views UI and update settings. Now, if I were to make it true, it will install those. Same goes for prod. If I were to keep it false, Google tag and uh, Google tag settings will get deleted. And if it is if it is true, only then Google tag and uh, Google tag dot settings, which is basically its respect to uh, config file, will get installed. The modules use cases are not only limited to installing or uninstalling modules. It has many use cases. If if there are if a more if maybe like there are certain cases where there are two or three different sets running on the same branch, and if you want a uh, certain configs to be different but we can't handle it in branch itself so what we're going to, what we'll do is we'll use this method we'll specify the environment and based on that we'll enable the spread that needs to be done uh, right now i have only experimented it with modules but uh, as i said here you can see there are multiple options uh, you can select uh, what all modules that can the, that you have you want to split and what type of configuration if you want to split the co configuration completely or if you want to split the configuration partially, you can specify uh, these reasons, these things, and you can like you know play around a bit and uh, understand it uh, much more uh, in in more detail. Uh, uh, that's it. Uh, any questions? Hi guys, thank you for watching. I had an amazing time learning all the new things here at Specbees TechX, and if you did too, do let us know in the comments below. Keep following SpecP for the latest trends in technology. See you in the next one.